right, okay. All right, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Apologies, we're a couple of minutes late, but we're here. We are here. We are here with Lozzie, with Scott, and with Maya. Unfortunately, there is no Bailey today, but what we're going to do is we're going to be watching Rendlesham Part 2. We're going to be talking about... Um, Oh, look at that official partner. We're going to be talking about that Sir. as well. This video is brought to you by Wraith Energy. I'm an official partner of Wraith Energy. This is Pear Drop. It's fucking beautiful. If you go to the website and you use code DUDY, you're getting 20% off. Yeah? Beautiful. I'll be banging some links in the chat throughout as well. Maya's got it in a glass. With a metal not, straw. Not one for a shake. Yeah, I've got the race shaker. But anyway, we'll get to that Girly in race. a moment. Right. Rendlesham. Lossie, you weren't there. I weren't. You had work commitments. Totally understand it. Totally cool. Not an issue. What are your thoughts, Loz? What are your thoughts on the location? What are your thoughts on the place? The location's cool because I've been there before, but during the day. Of so course. You've been there. You went there kind of during the day slash evening and then well, obviously later on into the night when you first went there. Yeah. Did you I can't remember what time did you go there the second video when you all uh, went? The second time? Yeah. Uh when did we get there? About nine? No, maybe what, half the nine. Time? Uh, no. We got there close to ten. Because yeah. uh Bailey got there at about nine. And then Bailey was sat outside Rendlesham Forest in a country on a country lane in a car by himself in the pitch dark. And I was like, he was like, Are you gonna be long? Like, um bad hour. <laughs> we, I think we told him ten minutes though. <laughs> yeah, weren't great. So Yeah, it's just uh It's just one of them. But yeah, it was about nine o'clock, mate, that we went on the second time. It's a very yeah. different beast at night. That's all yeah. I'm gonna say. I've not been there at night, but just watching the video, the change, especially in the first part one, the change from like, oh, this is a nice forest to, oh, this is literally pitch black everywhere. Well, and I we, can't see um, meters in front of you. We pulled up at, I think it was like half nine-ish when we got there. So it was dark at, around that time. Yeah. So we pulled up in the pitch black and parked outside because obviously the car park was closed. And the first experience is we had a van drive past us about three times yeah. while we were unloading the car. And I was like, great, the forest isn't going to kill us, but this man is. Yeah, well, I, my thoughts on that was, oh, we're about to get booted out here. Because apparently you're not allowed to do... Oh, no, I think it's paid walks, isn't it? You can't do like a, this is a ghost walk of yeah. Rendlesham. And then like... Uh... Mm -hmm. it's 50 pound a ticket you know we were just yeah ronnie didn't charge us we didn't charge ronnie we were just there soaking in the paranormal experience yeah you know but also guys i just want to let you all know this is a q a so any questions get them in the chat um and also hit that like button because it really helps us out um i must admit i put a post out i was like doing a q a on rendlesham blah 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 Get your question. If you're not going to be there, if you're busy Sunday night, get your questions down below. Then this guy asked a question, and I can. This was a few hours later. Completely forgot that I literally said this is a Q and A for Sunday, and I just answered his question on the post. So, okay. why waste the stream? That's it. I fucked it off the bat. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, but yeah, Th. We're going to do this in a really weird order, but Th has just asked in the chat. Part three, question mark. I I am going to confirm that there will be a part three. But it's not going to be back to back. It's not going to be like next month's video. I think we'll let it simmer. But I feel like there will be a part three. Also, I feel like the only way a part three can work, for me personally, is if we camp. Oh fuck! That's it. <laughs> no. It's like you actually want to die. Yeah, pretty much. Because I, I just, I just got a feeling about that place that you know, if you're like, you know, in Blair Witch when they're in the tent and they hear like kids giggling and like babies crying and shit at about three, half three in the morning, 
from outside their tent. I feel like that's what you're going to get. That's anytime, what you want to get. Anytime you're trying to sell me on a place and you start it yeah. with, you know in Blair Witch? Yeah. I immediately yeah. sort of clock out. Yeah. You know when he wakes yeah, up, no. his mate's gone, but there's teeth and an ear. That's what, that's what I want to well, that's what I want to that's see. I have some really unfortunate news. I will definitely be busy that day, I uh, think. Lars, you're going gonna to Lars, you're gonna have to sub in, mate. That's it, I'll bring the knife. That's it, just bring a, bring a machete. Why do you look excited about that? Because, Brad, it's just all about the experience, isn't it? You know? It's all about the experience. But it's I man that hates himself. Exactly. He actually wants pain. Yeah, pretty much. But the thing is, like, for me, part one and part two were obviously, like, so different, but work so well. You know, because we've got Ronnie in part one, where he's taking us around to all the locations, giving us all this brilliant story and stuff of, of, of things that have happened there. And then obviously part two is like, right, this is the investigation. This is what we're doing. You know, EMFs, Estes methods, REM pods, it's all going off. And it was, it was obviously it worked so well with part one, but it was so different to part two. And I wouldn't want, although Rendlesham Forest is incredible, and I'm sure that you could do a paranormal investigation like part two, every day of the week and get some amazing stuff i just want it to have a different edge just like two had a different edge to number one and i feel like that would be achieved through camping you know, you know what you should do jordan what's that solo no I, there's there's just no way i, the, the, I just i'm just trying to get out of it walk, yeah walking around walking around that forest at night even with you lot thinking Imagine if I was setting up a tent and just sat outside it or sat in it by myself. Yeah. It's just, I just could not do it. I just that could is, not do it. I, I can definitely say that Rendlesham is by far the most scared I've ever been in any investigation ever. There was at no point where I felt like comfortable or safe or happy. I, it was just a, a, a terrifying experience from start to finish. Yeah. But but to be fair to you, because you weren't sure if you were even going to come, because the whole forest at night element was a big thing for you, wasn't it? Yeah. So fair yeah, play well, for Kiamen. Thank you. I am very, very scared of the dark, for one. and This is the, ideal for you, then. Yeah, exactly. It was so fun. Especially when Ronnie made us turn the torches off. That was that, that was, was really enjoyable for me. That was quality. That was actually my idea. Oof. That was great. <laughs> yeah, Saboteur. That's it. Yeah, no, that was very scary. The worst part about that for me was the the fear of turning the lights back on and then there just being ten witches standing around us. Yeah, or <laughs> I had I also envisioned like turning the camera, so turning the lights back on, and like Scott or Ronnie is just gone, <laughs> and just like never saw Scott again. <laughs> He's... specifically you imagine that well no because because <laughs> no because bailey had the camera and me and you yeah. had our arms linked so like yeah cute if 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 <laughs> well i, th- so I was just i was abducted. Just, yeah i was just worried that you were gonna you were run gonna away freak out and yeah run into a tree i was honestly <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like although Scott didn't leave you physically, I do feel like he left you mentally because there was a lot of times where the camera panned around Scott, and I, he was looking in the sky. Like I thought he was plane spotting or something. It, it was nice to see that you're all doing different things. Like yeah. Scott's taking like different. He's like, oh, okay, wonder what's up in that tree. What's in the sky? <laughs> nice looking behind. She's like shit, we're gonna get shanked from I was behind. For UFOs. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I had a, I had. A, I had a little bit of fun with that, like when because <laughs> you you were like looking up in the air, so I was like Scott is stargazing, and then you just fucking full on walked off, so I was like Scott is now fully possessed. <laughs> but but also oh this is important. Bailey highlighted this. I didn't realize this, and Scott, this might hmm this will either soothe you or make it worse. You know when I when um Bailey goes oh um Scott. Or something like that, sort of something along them lines. Apparently, it was someone that sounded like you, not didn't say your name, but I thought Bailey meant it said your name, but apparently it just mm-hmm. sounded like you. So it's just mimicking you again. I think that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unlucky, Scott. It's weird how often we get that. Mm. Yeah, specifically you, Scott. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, Ugh. but yeah, 
but yeah, no, but over a lot, I just, I absolutely loved, um, I just loved, loved that investigation. I just, you know, thought it was really cool. And, and I just really, I just really want to go back again. Yeah. And so, but I want to do it differently. I know it's weird to say, but it was nice to have the fear element back again because I feel like we've got quite confident with our investigations recently. Yeah. So, like, the buildings tend to be less scary until something happens. Um, but this was just, it was nice to have the fear there, which doesn't make sense, but I know what I mean. No, I know what you mean. Definitely. Did you feel the fear, Scott? I think when we were initially pulling up in the car, it was like, Okay, this is dark. This is, yeah. It was sort of. I don't quite know what I was expecting until the headlights yeah. went off, and it was like, okay, it's pitch yeah. black. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. from there on, it was like, right, this is what it's going to be all night now. Just yeah. complete darkness. Yeah. And it was like that's the thing. Like as soon as it was quite like <laughs> completely wrong fucking words to use, but it was quite eye opening. Like when you switch those lights off, <laughs> there is nothing yeah like you might as well be in a fucking void you know it's just like with your eyes closed yeah it was it was truly terrifying but um but yeah i thought it was you know quite prudent that because we ended number one with um with the emf on that gate and it kind of went crazy but couldn't do an estes method because the batteries were drained to literally kick off from where we started no no where we ended the last episode and um surprisingly quiet surprisingly quiet and weirdly distant that was the thing that also got picked up on baileys like some of the things that i was hearing it just sounded like they were like fucking 100 meters away Mm. really really strange but i'm so glad that we you know we thought you know what east gate at rendlesham is such a big like part of this whole place that we're going to finish there and obviously that Estes method which we'll get towards the end of this stream was just fucking nutty absolutely nutty but Loz if you want to put the video up but just have it like muted or like on very very low volume just running in the background and then we'll kind of answer questions and we'll chat along and then if we spot something in the video, we'll obviously pause and talk about it or, or whatever. Um, but yeah, keep the questions coming, guys, in the chat, and I'll just pick them out um, as 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 we're going along. For example, Kylie Sketches says, didn't you feel calm during your Estes method, Maya? Yes, I did. Um, the, the two po- parts of the um investigation where i felt comfortable were the estes method which is so weird and the lights off part which just makes absolutely no sense because they should have been the two worst bits for me because i was in darkness couldn't hear anything but the estes method particularly was where i felt very comfortable um and i think ronnie and scott um linked that to um some sort of step in possession oh yeah 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 that again, again, that was that was actually me. That's fine. That's fine. Just give Ronnie. And Just Scott don't want to give you credit for anything. All the credit today. for everything. That's fine. But yeah, no, but really Sorry. interesting. I found that when we turned all the lights off and we did that what meditation thing. I mean, it is meditating, so I guess it makes sense. But I found I was very calm. I thought it was going to be fucking horrible when when we turned the lights off. But when we did mm. that specific bit in the complete darkness, I was like, no, this is pretty cool comparatively though i don't think we filmed it but on the walk home where we where we had the lights off that bit i did not like no i was, was livid yeah, about that the walk, the walk back with the lights off it was like okay no this is not fun no i think we had yeah. the camera running but no because i said i said i was like we're not even filming so i don't know why we're oh, doing this i, I see. probably snapped at someone i can't <laughs> remember who it was but well, i was like we're not even filming me. so can we just stop yeah, and then I think you said it's, it's for the experience. Yep, there you <laughs> go. Something. Well, I got called out. I got called out in a comment the other day. He was like, "Oh yeah, there's a howl, and you're not filming." Let me explain, guys, because funnily enough, right at the start of the video, and this is all on me, Myra is literally saying to me because I was like, "Turn the cameras off. We'll turn them back on when we get to the next location." Full disclosure, 
I didn't feel like coming home to hours and hours and hours and hours of us walking and talking. I thought, let's just do certain locations, blah, blah, blah. But Mara was like, what if something happens when the cameras are off? Bosh, howl. As she says that sentence, Bailey's flicks the camera straight on. Scott, I want to just say I absolutely loved that you instantly went and did a little segment on Shug Monkey. I thought that was really, really cool and worked really well Like to, to compare. But that was purely my own laziness that I did, asked Bailey to turn the camera off. And obviously I learnt my lesson and from there on out, until apparently when we were walking back in the dark for a bit, the camera was pr on pretty much the whole time because we genuinely missed that howl because of a silly decision by me because I'd have to sit through hours anyway, you know, so. But I do think if we had left it on the entire time we were doing that, the camera would have run out before your Esther's method. That yeah. is very true because it did that's run out really right at the end. Point. Yeah, that's a really good point. And yeah. I would have preferred to catch your Estes method than... No, would I? Oh, wow. Just my Estes yeah. method's in the mud. In the mud. That's it. No, because I think the thing is, is we would have still gone and done the Estes method and maybe just filmed it on a phone. Oh, yeah. Because that was always yeah, yeah. the plan to go back there. Yeah. But that howl was so messed up that I wish I could listen to it back and confirm that it sounded like it did. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely a howl. And I just don't understand why we weren't more freaked out about the fact that there was potentially like a wolf in the woods with us or a shug monkey or. Or a... it could have just been an owl. Because they. Yeah. Scru no, maybe not an owl because they don't howl. But they kind of go, howl. No, That's they don't. <laughs> Twitch. No, that's, definitely a wolf. that's definitely a wolf you've done there, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> but. I love when owls go, owl. <laughs> did, did you see just a slight tangent, but is actually terrifying? Um, did you see that, like, the clearest picture that anyone has ever taken of a big cat in the UK? It's, like, yeah. literally a fucking puma in the middle yeah. of, a, in the middle of, like, this marshland, and it's crystal clear. And it's That's like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. There, apparently there's a few. I think, I think there was, like, some exotic animal owners in, like, the 70s or 80s, and then they outlawed it. Mm. And so all these people just released them into the, into the ether and they've obviously ether. survived yeah um so they regularly find like fur and things like that in all of the woodlands throughout the country from where people just let them go which is terrifying mad mad but yeah so what i was getting at there is that howl could have been like a fucking mountain lion in it and you i know. think that that picture got taken or got released the morning of this investigation as well, because I 100% remember being aware of that cat while we were doing this. That's it. That's so, it. yeah, it's always fun. It is, but we didn't get you alive, so no, we it's didn't. okay. We didn't. We we survived. We survived. And probably whatever it was would have been more scared of us than we would have been. No, it would have thought. It would have been scared of us, and then it would have just run away. You know, five adults, adult humans. Yeah. Probably but listen, if a puma attacked me, I'm throwing hands. <laughs> wow, so you punch a cat? <laughs> yes. If it was life or death, yes. I wouldn't. Same D says, asks, sorry, hey, dude, any plans for Halloween 2023? Well, funnily enough, we have, at the locations we have been doing this year thus far... Uh, we have recorded podcasts after each investigation. So we have a week of investigations for you guys. And then hopefully um, I will have a plan in place for the team to go and do an investigation for Halloween. So hopefully, like, like last time, it was myself, Scott and Lozzie. We went to Borough Castle Ruins. That was the Halloween episode last year. But um, yeah, we have a plan for Halloween and I'm hoping to cap it off with an investigation. So yeah, happy days. Happy days. Um, right, so obviously we had the Estes method, then we, we had the howl. Where did we go from there? We crossed... So just be before we get to that, the yeah. bit that's on the screen at the moment, Yes. 
There were definitely noises happening on the other side of the gate. Yeah. So a lot. during during both of your Estes methods, there was something rustling in the bushes on the other side of the gate. Interesting. Uh, and then at various points, you could hear like obviously towards the end, which we'll get to later, but there was humming happening. Yeah. In there. Mm. And that's weird. Well, was it I'll, like I'll, sorry? Was it like an electrical hum, or was it like a someone? No, humming? it was like a person humming. Yeah. Okay. It was like mm, mm -hmm. or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. Didn't get picked up on camera though, but both me and Scott heard it. Yeah. I don't know if Bailey and Ronnie did. I can't remember, but I definitely know that me and Scott addressed it. I think Ronnie heard it. I think ba I don't think Bailey did. Yeah. Yeah, Lottie asked. There was a point where there where a growl was heard beyond the gate. Were you able to go beyond? We weren't. Was that? I mean, obviously, I wouldn't uh, scale a fenced off area. But there, was there barbed wire on top of that gate? There yeah. wasn't. Was, there was. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah there, was there was definitely around the sides. I can't remember if there was on the top. Okay. Yeah, it was on the top because it but was on the is... top and then went all the way around the the gate. Round yeah, the I, know, I know the fence was right. So, yeah. So yeah, we weren't. Yeah, not able that I'd have broken to... in. No, of course not. But we weren't able to, and I think the other side is still an active airbase. If I'm right, I think. I think um, I was talking to my granddad about this place the other day. Apparently, when it when when it closed down, um, a bunch of people bought this place who believed that they could fly on mattresses. Whoa. I don't know if this has been if this is the same place, but I'll you know I could definitely look into it and see. Um, what? The, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely look, look into that. Definitely look into that. Fly on mattresses. I think uh, it was some sort of like culty type thing. All right. But Jesus, I'm, I'll have to speak to him about it and see if there's anything that any any more information that he has. But yeah, apparently that's who took over it and nobody could understand how they got all that money that's pretty so mad I don't know if they still own it not a B-Tech version of Aladdin <laughs> that's it <laughs> no rugs just mattresses <laughs> well I mean I guess it's, it's well no it's not at all I was then going to com compare it to Skinwalker Ranch when when like the paranormal people bought it to do tests but it's a bit different in it if you're flying mattresses <laughs> I don't know UFOs I would love to like imagine imagine fucking buying like the airbase next to Rendlesham though you know yeah it's just you know so so cool um, I but yeah you were good... say you'd love to fly in a mattress oh, I'd also <laughs> love to do that good evening everyone hello everybody now joining us welcome come in come in come in come in um, but yeah I think the next thing that we did was we went over to the other side of the woods yeah. and I think the next notable thing was the scratches on the ground in threes oh yeah yeah that was a bit different mm. wasn't it yeah I, and I then, that, then it good. led to that beautiful moment scott where bailey delivers an incredible zoom into your face where you try to think of a logical explanation behind the scratches yeah having now watched it back i have changed my conclusion because what did you think Ooh. of what is it is like a doing wheelies Jumps. <laughs> An end jump. What's it, what, what's yeah. an, what, I must ask, what is an end jump? No. Were you going to say. And jumps. No, I'm sure you said end jump. Like, like a. a what's it, is it a nolly? Is that. A, oh, what, like on a skateboard? Yeah, I thought that's what you were yeah. going for. Like, it's an. It it's was, an and then I couldn't think of the word, so I gave up. Ah. Uh, see, yeah. I knew. I thought you were I saying. I thought like you said it. wheelies and jumps. I think it was an endo, is what I was going for. Ah. Get the endos going. Just get into the middle of the forest and it's just a half pipe. There was bike trails. Oh which... yeah, people do bike in there. Weird. And it could definitely set you know. What was, be what was like. that? Were there, why were there red lights? Are we on the road here? Yeah, that was the um car reflectors on the oh. railings. There you go. Scott's figured it out. Yeah. There was also a lot of issues with the oh by the way, the drip card. Go over to the video and comment because I'll be giving that away at the end of this stream. So go and do that. Uh, so where what, where was I going with that? What were we then saying? I've literally the scratches on the ground. 
yeah, there was something after that, but it was before the drip card. The drip card has thrown me. Can't think. Oh, yeah, the the focus. Right, so there was some issues with the focus that night. Now, I'm going to be lazy and put it down to the paranormal. I had no idea what was going on. It really struggled to focus on us. Was it on manual or auto? It was on auto. It was on auto. Oh, I made sure it went on manual. Yeah, I made sure it went on manual because literally got to the Blair Witch part in part one when when Bailey handed me the camera and I was like, this is in manual. So I was like, I really hope this has been in focus the whole time. But um, yeah. but yeah, no, it's just really, the camera was really struggling. I mean, I know it's a bit low light, but we did have a big, big light on top. Um, also, shout out to Ronnie. Thank you so much again for taking us. And, and thinking, But oh my goodness, Ronnie just kept walking off. And we'd no just thoughts. be like, where's Ronnie gone? And he'd be like, hello from like miles away it's just like where's he gone i was half expecting ronnie to just fully disappear at one point and just hopefully. a sec yeah oh this was weird wasn't it when um you were hearing voices and stuff behind us literally like in the bushes next to us at one point which was absolutely mental yeah yeah the voices sort of just in the distance were it was almost like it was only it, when we tried to actively focus on them, they weren't there. Yeah. Yeah. But it was just like distant murmurings a lot of the time. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like you, you, I, did, I did hear a lot of voices throughout throughout the evening, and they did all sound female. You know, it was very. Yeah. It's just and very eerie. But them. then, but then it could have also been, you know, like psychologically. I mentioned about the witches and stuff. You know, it could have been playing on my mind. We all heard them, though. Yeah. I think there's potential it could have been echoes sort of within the forest. Because mm. there's a lot of just trees and things for voices to bounce off of. Yeah. Um, But it didn't sound like any of us. Yeah. Is the only thing with that. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, don't think I don't think it, I don't think it was echoes. It could have just been like dog walkers. I don't, I don't know why on earth you would walk your dog in that forest at night, but it could have been, you know. Yeah. Um, or it could have been witches just chilling, doing rituals, you know. No. Um, Colin, Colin Took said, or asked, sorry, um, what are your views on what actually happened there? I've been around that area for a long time and find it is consistently heavy in the atmosphere i have had weird stuff happen there so what do you guys think i mean we've all been obviously lozzy you've been during the day did you do, do we think that you know the location is paranormal i certainly do in my experience i mean i went during the day so <clears throat> i'm guessing you probably don't see or experience a lot during the day I wouldn't say so based on my experience, but watching the videos that you did, obviously you've experienced something. Yeah. Oh, this was grim. Sorry. When I did the photo, the live photo, yeah. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's a tree stump. But just seeing that, like, white figure kind of show up on that live video was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Yeah. I mean, based on information that i've heard alone i would say it's pretty com compelling like all the stuff all the different accounts of it and then also the fact that all of these people have disappeared after they've come out about it and you know it's so famous and stuff and i would definitely say that the atmosphere of this place is horrible but obviously there's no way for me to differentiate between paranormal and like alien -y. so i don't i don't really know if the experience that we had oh yeah what? it's so difficult to answer i feel like the atmosphere alone wouldn't be able to attribute it to however your ss method at the very end lends a lot of credibility to the stories i think yeah, I mean, the thing with UFOs and, and ghosts being a crossover for the paranormal, I think the way that you 
come to that conclusion is if aliens are extra dimensional beings yeah and what we perceive to be ghosts are those going th- you know coming through the dimension through the through the spaces or cracks between our reality and theirs or perhaps you know the go uh, this is going away from the aliens but staying with this kind of extra dimensional thing um potentially you know there are cracks in time itself where where one time bleeds into another um mm. but the whole ufo alien thing they could be outside of our existence using the same kind of wall breaking if you like to come through if that makes sense yeah to get your head around yeah i guess um it's difficult without having like concrete proof of what an alien is it's it's difficult to attribute those things to aliens if that makes sense yeah yeah i do get what you mean but like you look at skinwalker ranch and they i mean that place and seemingly rendlesham just like had everything Mm. lights aliens ufo sightings ghosts poltergeist activity cryptids you know and we i believe that as a human race we understand fuck all about our universe even the greatest minds understand that you know next to nothing and it could it could all be linked it could all be you know extra dimensional outside of our reality coming into Mm. our reality um just a slight tangent madhead punk says saw the video on patreon about potentially doing investigations every two weeks is that a genuine possibility loving watching you guys on this crazy journey keep it up yes i believe it is because what i found is rendlesham part one and rendlesham part two took me two full days to edit each and that is sustainable if we had the footage me taking two days out to edit these big videos is definitely sustainable it's definitely doable the the main thing right now would be cost of location which locations like rendlesham are obviously free apart from fuel etc um and location availability that that would be the only thing really slowing things down i would say um Mm. right now so yeah no two uh, an investigation every two weeks would be what i would love to aim for you know it's what Mm. i would love to aim for um when you went to the alleged ufo area did anyone get any weird vibes how did you um how did you feel when we mm. went to where we did the e uh evp yeah that was a bit weird but it wasn't i, d- I think other areas felt weirder mm. I, I would agree with that. Yeah, I, d- I definitely think the area felt it felt darker than some of the other bits we'd been to. Um, but it also fe- it didn't have the same sort of energy in the air that everywhere else did. Where did you feel the most? You guys, where did you feel the most energy? The where Blair did- Witch bit. The Blair Witch bit. Hundred percent between that and the East Gate for me. Yeah. East Gate. I tell you what was fucking lit up like anything was uh the area where you did your estes method maya when we put Mm. that emf on the wooden post and it was going crazy yeah it was going absolutely crazy and and that was just that was surreal you know that really was yeah that was quite something um ronnie's in the chat by the way hello ronnie um i believe this will be in relation to the mattresses it was bent waters that the trans el dental meditation people put a bid in for bent waters is now a business park woodbridge is an army uh, rock barracks paras fly the apache attack helicopters so i think that was the place where they put the bid in to 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 do the mattress stuff ah okay so it wasn't the same place and they didn't get i think bent waters is down anyway. the road um 
is this the exact spot there was supposedly there's supposed to be some indentations on the floor still um, i think ronnie said that they had cleared the entire area um after it happened which would make sense radioactivity etc etc um jesse says should go to pluckley in kent it's meant to be the most haunted place in england we've been to daring woods which is next to pluckley um and that was that was quite something wasn't it Lars? are there any haunted hey, locations that you could recommend in pluckley the whole village is haunted it's the most haunted village yeah. in the country mm -hmm. We did go. Did we drive through Pluckley to get to? I Daring think we Woods? drove alongside it. All oh, right, okay. And we like looked over and we we're like, "There's Pluckley," but it was getting like the light. The uh, the sun was coming down, wasn't it? Yeah. But is there like anything that we could do there, or like? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we could walk around, interview people, talk about the history, mm. the, the the history, and then go to Red, uh, go to Darren Woods and do a part two. I know. Mm. I'm pretty sure there's a haunted pub there. Um... Uh, I okay. think there's a haunted hotel as well. Nice place to stay. Happy days. Happy days. Yeah, Darrenwood is in Pugley. Nice. Lewis says, I absolutely love your videos. I would love to join you all in an investigation one day. Well, Lewis, we are putting together a paranormal tours company to do exactly that. So I hope to see you there. What's one place you would like to return to for an investigation? I'll open it to the entire floor while I ask the some mine. The ram. The ram? Mm -hmm. Nice. Got a spare 900 quid? <laughs> nah. Plus two years to wait on the wait list. Oh, yeah. Very true. So you got the ram. Scott, where would you like to go back to? Also the, also the ram. The Ram. Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having another go at Thirty East Drive while more conscious. Yeah, you were very tired that day. You were very tired <laughs> yeah. that day. Lozzy, where would you like to go to? Back to. To return to. Yeah. Um, I suppose. I don't know if there's been enough time has passed to, for the uh, haunted, like antique museum. Mm. Yeah. Um, we. I'd like to go back there at some point. Probably in like a year or so, if it's still there. Um, yeah. Hopefully, it is because it is like a very unique place, mm -hmm. and um, I think the rotation, especially of like the dolls and that sort of stuff, and the artifacts, is something that could keep that place going. I've just got this thing in; it's from this person; it's linked to this case; it was a murder. All that sort of stuff can draw people in, and I think that is one thing that that might have over other locations that don't really change that much. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but if you if you're asking me that one place that I've been to that I'd like to go back to, I think that would be one. I would like to go to the Ram. I haven't been. Um, mm. just to yeah, experience that. Yeah. Yeah, I the think Ram is the Ram is pretty cool. Bite the bullet, and just go back. Yeah. Yeah. Click clack. Yeah, I know, I know. I shouldn't be. Oh, it's not. It's not a case of being tight. It's just that it's it's silly, but it's the principle, you know. Yeah. Last yeah. year, seventy pounds per person, please. And then it's like, oh wait, no, we can charge more to people that want to film here. Okay, eight hundred mm. quid. What the f? Yeah. But yeah. No, I th I would like to. I would like to. Do you know? I'd like to go back to um, that haunted hotel. I really enjoyed mm. the haunted hotel. Yeah, and I'd like me to too. stay there. I'd like to sleep. We didn't sleep, did we? I would yeah. like to go to the haunted hotel because it looked good when you guys were there. It was really cool. It was a really cool place. Yeah. For the room, like for the actual, like space that we covered in that video, we got we did get a lot. Yeah, I was mm. so it, it just it just it was that was really nice because I was. I was definitely con not concerned, but I was like, we're going to get there. It's one room. We're going to film for like 20 minutes and then we're done. Like, this isn't going to be a full video. It can't be. But obviously, we just went step by step with all of the equipment and we just kept getting stuff. It was awesome. Mm. It was just so cool. And obviously, the cool thing about um, indoor places with a power supply is that we can use the um, the connect and stuff to, to you know, the... yeah. What's it called? I don't know what. They, what is it called again? Where they you get the stick figures? The, SL, the SLS camera. The SLS yeah. camera. Yeah, that's the one. 
That is the one. So. I think the thing I really liked about that investigation was I think that we were witnessing a different type of paranormal than we had previously because, like, at the the stone tape theory, I I always say that that's what I think that we captured that day. Yeah. Um, but it's just really fascinating because it was literally recreating everything that happened on that big night. It was just really, really, really interesting to see it just play out that way. Yeah. And the. F- the fear that I felt when you had the SLS camera up and it was like, it's literally looking over your shoulder. Like, yeah. like oh, man. And then what was it? It was like, it's something about my legs. Oh, it was just, oh, man. It just wasn't a good time. It wasn't a good time. It was it was really, really scary. It was very eerie. But um, To be and- fair, that, that mirrored the, although it probably wasn't as visceral as the reaction to the knife in the tree the first time yeah you, you, you did just see i'd say a good 90 percent of your faith <laughs> that you were gonna escape that room alive just <laughs> rain from your body yeah yeah that was that was that was fucking shit that was man <laughs> it was like, oh, so it's, it's literally over your shoulder it's like yeah excellent see i do one thing i do like is the different type of reactions you've had at different places yeah like you compare you compare the knife in the tree to oh. the kitchen of the ram inn yeah mm. which is another one where you were just oh, gone mate, that moment is my fu- that moment is my fucking mona lisa from a from a visual standpoint i just put a slow zoom on that and you like you can just see the fucking devastation on my face at the what we just experienced in that estes method and then you guys are just saying the most harrowing shit about demons in the background, and it was just visually brilliant. Fuck it. Like, yeah. I-, I sat there after I'd edited that, and I was just like, that is goosebump inducing. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. I love that moment. I love that moment. And it was just yeah. so natural. Like, you know. You guys were just chatting in the fucking, you know. I I, I turned the camera on because I was going to do a piece to camera, which I think I did to begin with, didn't I? And then mm. I, and then you guys were just chatting. You guys were just talking. So I thought I was just going to let you guys talk while I just kind of soak everything in. And it was just, oh man, what a moment. Yeah. Hideous. Um, Carly sketches, dude. Did you ever feel like something was following you? I remember you said whenever you heard voices, it sounded like it was behind you. If I remember correctly, just uh, so just curious if it, if you felt it. I didn't feel like we were being followed. No, um, it just felt like people were off in the distance. But something that happens a little bit later on, um, which I'm going to say now because you're kind of saying, you know, did you feel followed or whatever? Honestly, you know when you guys were doing something, and then I felt like i heard something run towards us yes that fucked me up that was one of by far one of if not the scariest moment of that night for me personally because i was convinced because it was so rapid it was like three four five fucking steps coming closer and closer hideous hideous i thought something was sprinting at us out of the darkness yeah, such a shame that the camera was facing the wrong way. Yeah, because it's a direct, up. yeah, directional microphone. But um, but yeah, I think we need to start wearing body cams. To be honest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, GoPros, awesome. GoPros, and then they could be just good. be looked at. Yeah. If something happens. Yeah, of course, because because you know if if we know you know well obviously we can look through all the footage anyway. But like you say, if something big happens, then all of a sudden, right? Okay, let's go to that timestamp and let's look from everyone's perspective and see what you know see what happened. I completely agree. Completely agree. Yeah. Maybe a cheeky little business loan and just get a shit ton of cameras. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Or you can buy ra- <laughs> But no, seriously, if you want some energy, Wraith. Wraith energy. I partnered with these guys because I love energy drinks and stuff. These are sachets. My, that is very loud. And Sorry. the other thing is, it's a Wraith. It's a ghost. It goes well with the, the paranormal vibe. And I just kind of thought, you know, these, you may have noticed in some investigations, I got a little bit tired. I mean, when we did the cleansing of Maya's parents' house, which, by the way, we are going to react to. We're going to get that done in the next couple of weeks. We're going to go back and watch the cleansing of Maya's parents' house. 
Um, I fall asleep. And we can't be having that. So a partner with Wraith. We're going to be doing some giveaways as well. Not in this stream, but we're going to be doing some giveaways. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. So thank you to Wraith for supporting the channel. And obviously, you know, if you guys enjoy Wraith and buy Wraith, then we can do bigger partnerships with Wraith. And then they can pay for us to go to Angel Ram Inn. And then we make another video. There you go. Um... But yeah, it's really good stuff. There's so many cool flavors. And apparently Brad has just ordered a starter pack. There you go, Brad. Enjoy. Yes, enjoy, Brad. enjoy. Get down with the Wraith Tings. But yeah, code duty, 20% off. All right. Uh, right, where are we at? Uh, what was just the equipment? My Estus. Oh, yeah. Uh, what oh, was... I thought you meant in the video. Nah, in the chat. What was the equipment you used at the hotel where it showed something standing next to you? That would be cool to use again. I think this was when we were talking this was from when we were talking before but yeah that is the sls camera but the problem with that is because a lot of people comment why well, use the sls camera use it and it's like i will i will but we need a plug socket and we can't do mm. that in the forest so yeah and sometimes we do it and nothing happens so yeah yeah that's no true point. we used it at your okay, house like at mine yeah. yeah yeah there's there's a physical limitation on that on that one it's not it's not the most portable of things anyway yeah, yeah. Um, maybe we should try and modify it to an ipad yeah you can do that it's yeah. obviously just, you need obviously fuck off battery packs as well yeah yeah, yeah. but imagine doing that in Durham woods no rendlesham sorry like imagine if we had been able to do this here that yeah. would have been unreal yeah for sure definitely um connor says yo team love the video hope everyone is well great investigation thank you so much connor Jesse says, think you need to wear body cams and heart monitors. I would love that. That is something that would be really fucking cool if we all had heart monitors on. That's a great and just, idea. Just well, that's gonna show is how shit our fucking fitness level is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, his heart rate's at 180 just because she's walking. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Rianne and James was the uh, patron of the day in that video. If you want to become a patron, you can for us for a pound or a dollar a month. You get lots of bonus content, including tomorrow, guys. Going to be uploading a little vlog I did today because I had my golf semi-finals, which is why I'm wearing this. It was a five-hour game, and uh, I filmed a lot. So that will be coming out tomorrow on the Patreon. Um, but anyway, back to this. The Sam Show. That Sam Show, sorry. I've heard Phantom Dog steps run up on me before. I shat myself, too. I feel your pain. Oh, could have been a, the ghost of a pooch. I'm sure a lot of people have walked it their dogs. Like, did it sound like a dog or a person? Was it just, it, 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 it did sound heavy. It sounded like I thought someone was running up to us. Oh, oh, I was scared. That's oh, I would. That would have just been pandemonium, <laughs> mate. That would have just, just a, a jogger out for a nice night run. They're getting yeah. laid out either way. Yeah. Imagine oh. it's just Ronnie. Yeah. yeah just like <laughs> the ghost is back. But yeah, or I, I might put it out, put it out on the socials, and people are like, "Hey, I've come to say hi." <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Ghost of a thousand switching between body cams would be cool. Duty cam, my cam, etc. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would I be think a really cool when, addition. When we did the ancient ram in, there was one point that's so funny. There's one point where I think Maya Bailey and Scott are all holding cameras. In like a small corridor at me oh, and it's yeah. just like whoa and that was when i kind of realized yeah we need to tone down some of these cameras we've but learned it, a lot since then. we have yeah definitely well that's another reason why to be fair i'd like to go back to the angel ram in because as much as i absolutely adore that video and think mm. it's a fantastic investigation we've learned so much that, yeah um i feel like it would be even better when we went and back. have so much more equipment now yeah yeah absolutely it's like it blows my mind that Darren Woods, we literally walked in there with a camera, a torch, and a Ouija board. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't fathom just going on an investigation with a torch, a camera, and a Ouija board. I didn't take the Ouija board into Rendlesham Forest because of Darren Woods and how unbearably uncomfortable a Ouija board is sat on the floor of a forest. Mm. Yeah, it's not and also time. how many times we took our hands off just because I literally my back was breaking. Honestly, I remember and... watching that, that video back after you put it out 
and I was like, this is oh shite. my god, Jordan, oh. what are you doing with the yeah. Ouija board? Yeah, no that wonder got... that apartment was so haunted. That's it. I got a lot of that. I got a lot of comments that video. It's like you are fucked for what you've done <laughs> on that Ouija board. But, and then I just remember Lozzy, like, bless you, fucking you filming it for like twenty five minutes, just like bent over, just like trying to get the, the shots. That's fucking dying. Yeah, you're I like, won't even. I was literally watching you die, die myself. <laughs> yeah, just your lumber getting absolutely crucified. That was that's fun. what you need the heart ring on it as well. That's it. That's it. <laughs> But yeah, so that's why I didn't do it. For anyone wondering, that's why we didn't do a Ouija board in the forest. Um, Rachel says, there are some amazing places in North Wales that are meant to be haunted around Snowdonia and Anglesey. Ooh, nice. We'll have a little browse. We'll have a little browse. Have you guys ever done the Screaming Woods? Danny, I believe that is Daring Woods. I believe the Screaming Woods is Daring Woods. In which yeah, case it is. It is. Yeah. yeah, we have. We have. But I want to go back. Lewis, you should all do an investigation where you camp at Rendlesham or any potential haunted forest, really. Lewis, absolutely. That's going to be part three. That is the plan for part three. So, uh, Lozzie, are you going to join us for a little camp? Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, for a little camp and sesh. But, yeah, uh, we'll probably, I reckon, I don't want to do it too late in the year because as me and Lozzie experienced on Atma, uh, camping in December is vile. But I think, like, early October, you can still get some pretty mild evenings. Yeah. So I think that could be that could be good. Or, hell, it could even be the, uh, the Halloween special. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'd quite like to do a live Halloween special, to be honest. But I don't know where we'd go. But it's something... Pendle, that... maybe. Pendle ooh, yeah. I want to go to Canic be... Chase as well. Mm-hmm. Mm got to be someone with good signal if you're doing it live yeah that's the problem yeah. i really wanted to go live at rendlesham i was going to go live on youtube then live on facebook or vice versa and but it was also, just couldn't it would have to be somewhere you would need to book out privately because i know that there are a lot of investigations at places like pendle hill on halloween like i think haunted happenings hosts like three different events on halloween night just there yeah but drips better than haunted happenings so what are you gonna do about it we'll have about 40 people with each each tour group so yeah or maybe that maybe our maybe our halloween special is going and like pretending to be ghosts at a haunted happenings thing (laughs) so make people jump imagine um jesse says do you ever get scared at the thought of going into has the video ended Oh no! This is this is this is the bit where we're in the in the dark. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You can see how dark it was. Yeah, I thought the video had ended. Did we die and I forgot? <laughs> but yeah, um, Jesse says, "Do you ever get scared at the thought of going into abandoned places of seeing other people there?" Absolutely, yeah. fucking terrifying. And we did once. Yeah, but we R- didn't know that they were there. The RAF base. I just don't think there is a chance that there wasn't someone in there. Oh, it makes me sick. Yeah, that is vile. Right. I just don't, like that. I don't like. I, I don't think. Well, it could be a shadow figure. It could be the paranormal. But that the, the curtain. There's literally a a silhouette in the curtain, and then it goes behind it, and it's so clear. And I literally made it into a short, slowed it down, and some of the comments are just like, I "Don't see anything." It's like. I don't care if you think it's paranormal or not. Fair enough. Like, be sceptical as you as possible. I, I think it was a homeless person, right? Or a squatter. But you can't tell me there was nothing there. <laughs> like, you can literally fucking see it. You know, you can you tell... You see them, it duck behind the curtain. You can say whatever. You can say, oh, it was a squatter. You can say, oh, you had someone in the building. We didn't, but you can say that. I don't care. But don't tell me there's nothing there. Like, that's, <laughs> imagine we caught a ghost slap bang in the middle of the room and you got some people like oh my god that's fucking crazy you got some people oh that's fake and then you got another bit of person i don't see anything what the fuck <laughs> do you mean <laughs> what do you mean i don't see anything i'm legally blind. what do you mean <laughs> i'm legally blind but yeah i don't know it's just crazy it's just crazy but yeah no that the the abandoned places are scary they're really scary because there is that there, there, there's danger of people there's danger of the paranormal but there's also danger of rotten floorboards yeah 
Like yeah. where they're at, they've, we've been to a few places, and you just hear like, and then it's like, oh yeah, look at the floor. Oh yeah, you can see the floor below yeah. me. Shit. Where was that place that we went? I think it might have been the Lincolnshire Asylum, where we went upstairs yeah, we went and upstairs. the floor was soggy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, you have and, to come back and now. And when, <laughs> when me and you went to the paper mill, and there was all those clothes on the floor in that room, and then we realised that there was just holes in the floor. Yeah, and someone had been murdered there a week before, which we didn't that, know. That building has put me off doing yeah. abandoned locations. That anymore, see that that building honest. when we did that video, that was purely an exploration, wasn't it? We didn't. We yeah. just thought this isn't going to be paranormal. It's an old paper because mill. It's a, it's a paper mill. Why would there be any ghosts? Yeah, there? but then there was there was a police tape outside it, which we addressed, but didn't really think anything of it. And then we looked into it, and someone had literally been stabbed there about two weeks earlier. And we're just like so going around, like, oh look. This is the squatter's mattress. <laughs> like, absolute fucking idiots. Idiots. How you're still here, I don't know. I know it's just Hello. me and you, weren't it, Maya? Yeah. And, by the way, you go into the first, you climb into a window and you're in this one room, right? You then have to climb up onto a table, onto a refrigerator, up into like a hole in the wall to get up and through into the actual like main building. So if you, if you're being chased, you are just done, done. But yeah, that was that was definitely. I, I would say that that and the first RAF base before I started asking Bailey to come with us. That was this. Those two were the silliest. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it, it would, it's just you. You need numbers, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely. You need numbers. Then you intimidate whoever is there. But I'm not I'd like. I'm not being funny. If there is someone in there that has bad intentions and they hear one guy and one girl, they're probably going to try what, you know, the negative thing that they wanted to try. Whereas if you hear like three or four people, that might have scared them off like it did it at the RAF base. Yeah. Where the guy or woman clearly kept out of our way. Yeah. I mean my uncle said to me, he was like, You do realise if people are squatting in there and living in there, they will know every nook and cranny of where to hide and how to get away or yeah. like and how to you know, so it's just like Ugh. but anyway, that's abandoned places which are horrid. Um Lewis says, and I'll extend this to everyone here, what's your favourite ghost equipment to use? Mine personally is what Bailey is doing right now. It is the Estes method. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something to be different, and I don't think that anybody is gonna agree with me. But I really like Ouija boards. Nice. I mean, for me, Ouija boards they they are cool, but uh, from what we've experienced so far, they're not like the Hollywood movies. They're no. very slow, you know. Yeah. And I do, but I think it's also because I've had energy issues, which I no longer have because of Wraith. But I get bored. <laughs> And I get tired. Yeah. Like I feel like if we do a Ouija board and I'm flagging a bit, we just we've just put the nail gun at the back of my head. Yeah. And Lozzie's pulled the trigger. Think... <laughs> I just think that they're like when you actually get stuff on them, the feeling of it is really weird and yeah. I really like how ab like abnormal, paranormal it feels. I think it's really cool. Well, they're, they're, all, they're also iconic, aren't they? You know? Yeah. Yeah. They are it's iconic, true. which is, you know, really cool. What about you two? I think for me, I'd Excuse probably me. go for the... Again, probably the Estes method, but just for the sake of saying something different. I quite like the EMF, mm -hmm. uh, especially after this video, where mm -hmm. we were in the middle of a forest and there should be no... Yes. Electrical interference. EMF is awesome. And there was. Mm hmm Yep. Which just doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, I think probably that one. Nice. What about you, Loss? I think I know what you're uh -oh. going to say, but I'm going to... Yeah, I've said it before. SLS yeah. for me. Yeah. Mm. It just gives you that visual feedback. Yeah. And yeah. It, you can incorporate it with other people, like, live... Like you, if you take a picture of something, you see it. You have to show it to someone. You can't then put that person in the frame. And be like, does it show up for you when you go into yeah. the view of the S? 
I just think it's a interesting use of equipment that was never intended to be used yeah. that way. That's literally paranormal activity, wasn't it? Oh yeah, cool. Sort yeah. of, sort of, because but well, they did it with the 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 dots, the dots. didn't they? Which yeah. obviously, if you look at if you look at um the the connect SLS through thermal image, oh no, through night vision infrared you can see what it's doing how it shoots out the dots yeah. to, to we map should it do that well we did we well. did we did we did it with the um at the haunted um hotel we used the tapo but we did we we didn't have it aimed at the wardrobe oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah but um but yeah no so there we go that's our favorite equipment what do we think having a punt in his absence, what do we think Bailey's would be? I got a feeling Bailey's a Bailey's a EVP man. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. EVP. I think again EVP or Estus, I would say for Bailey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think he, he does tend to get decent results from the Estus methods. He does. Yeah. 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 Um, I must we? say this part of the video that Bailey did. I think it was when Bailey did his Estus. I loved it how Ronnie was just sitting on the floor. Yeah, and Bailey, yeah. I, can't, I can't remember Stand what Bailey up. said, but uh, yeah, and then, and then uh, I think it was Ronnie just went, huh. "Yeah," I was like, "Yeah, yeah." Are you gonna elaborate? <laughs> no, That's it. Oh, worry about it. Demons will not intimidate Ronnie to do anything. That was awesome. Yeah. That was epic. Um, what we got? So we have. I'm gonna speed run some some questions. Would you go abroad for ghost hunting? I know that all of us absolutely would. Yeah. Uh, a Victorian jail in Beaumarie, which is creepy, was a regular school trip for us in primary school. B e a u m a r i s. A Victorian jail. Uh, Bob Bobby's in the house. Um, oh wow, this is how far behind I am on the questions this is obviously when I brought up the Atma camping because Ghost for a Thousand says was that when Lozzie had a wafer thin foil sleeping bag yes it certainly was um, Kylie Sketches says I know you're not keen on camping there Maya but you have to I love the vibes you bring to the videos thank you but you have to one man has said you have to so you got that's it um, All right. Ronnie says Burrow Hill would be a great investigation. Burrow Hill. That's the location where John Burrows and Ed Cabansag ended after their RFI night three. So Burrow Hill. Let's check it out. There is a recordable energy there in 1980 and at the time of the Rendlesham incident, 200 Saxon bodies was uncovered during excavation of gravel. That gravel was used in the making of logging tracks throughout the forest and could well explain the high volume of activity witnessed on the tracks rather than in the forest itself. That's quite cool. Well, I say cool, it's quite morbid. You're essentially potentially walking on gravel mixed with human bone. But that is uh, that is very interesting, and it would explain a lot. It would explain a lot. Uh, Bob, Bobby, hey, Ma Jordan, Meyer, Scott, and Lozzy, hello. Uh, that Sam show question: Which is more fascinating for you, the paranormal or aliens? So obviously the, they're kind of the same thing, but oh, under the same umbrella. But they say ghosts or aliens. Personally, I will have to say aliens for me. Aliens. Yeah, I'll out of the, the two, aliens, Loz, what are you, Scott? I'm ghosts, hundred mm -hmm. percent. Me too. Well, in the next live that we do, oh my goodness, we will get Bailey to uh, do the deciding vote because we're two for two. Uh, just... I just think for me, like I, the the proof of paranormal means so much. Yeah, like obviously. The, the, the proof of aliens means a lot, but the, the paranormal means that there is something after we die. And yeah. I think that is so important. That's one of the main reasons that I'm so interested in it is because I'm looking for proof that there's something after this. Yeah. And I think that that's just so fascinating. And if we're able to prove that, that's just unbelievable. But what if somehow aliens and the afterlife and the paranormal are one and the same? Mm. What if our energy goes through the veil to where the aliens are at i'm just saying mm. i'm just saying could um be. could be could be um 
Rachel says, makes me question my choices growing up as abandoned places were our playground. I grew up in the middle of nowhere. I get it. I totally get it. But when you do sit back and give it a thought, it is reckless. Bob Bobby, Lozzy. This is all block capitals. Lozzy, has your opinion changed at all on the paranormal? Uh, no. Okay. Not That's from fine. what I've personally experienced. That's absolutely fine. We'll get there. We we will get there. But no, it's good. I, I I like that you. Like, obviously, I'm skeptical. Um, I do believe there is something now because of you know we've said it so many times the mirror blah blah. blah. But you know I'm still skeptical of a lot of things. But I think it's great. I think it brings great balance to the team that you are just like this is not real because mm. if we catch something with you there. That ch- I feel like if you if if we change your mind, we change the world. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's a great it's a great like um. Ah, oh, I'm trying to think of the the term. It's like a great starting point for a for a a gauge. Do you know what I mean? Of apparent like yeah, yeah. if we move the needle for you, I feel like yeah we've found something fucking good here. Do you know what I mean? So that's, that's 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 great. That is great. Um, Lewis says, man, I bet the adrenaline rush you all get is mental. That feeling must be hard to top when you're in the moment. Scary, but when it's your passion do, to do these investigations, it must be amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I think it's weird. Like, sometimes it's a rush, and sometimes it's just pure dread. Like, I know, Lozzie, you absolutely fucking bossed it but when i did the uh and so did you scott to be fair i don't think you were that phased but when i did the the solo walk at haprica the the antiques place that was grim being you sat in that room in, you could hear it in your voice so clear <sighs> all right you just sat there just like, <laughs> so funny hey. so uh okay i'm in this room uh <laughs> I think he's gonna keel over. Like, so I'm gonna go up there and drag him down. That's it. That was fucking yeah, horrible. Mine for that one was just running on pure adrenaline. Mm. Well, you walked um, off. Did you? You, you? I mean, you just, well, I was like, right, let's go up to that back room, and do, and you were just like, I'm just gonna fuck it. Out. I'm gonna look at everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Scott doesn't doesn't obey the rules. He just, you're a maverick, and you. How did you find it, though? Yeah, not too bad. Weird. Yeah, but did you feel dread? Like, I, I was like, I, felt, I was like, no, you, you were. Yeah. This was a fucking you were mistake. Terrified. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was more sort of a. I don't like it, but I'm here now, so. Yeah. Make the most of it. Make the best. Yeah. Yeah. Make yeah. The best yeah. Of it. Nah, that's fair enough. Fair I enough. only felt like one bit of apprehension when, because they had that fucking skeleton in dressed as like basically death. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I could see some fabric, but I couldn't see the the face of the skeleton. I was like, "What the fuck is yeah. that?" Because we second. had no light, by the way. Guys. We had no light. No, I was mm. literally viewing it in the viewfinder of the night vision camera. Yeah, that's all we had to go by by walking around. And I still managed to fucking knock into the same chair twice <laughs> yeah. on the way up and the way back down. Yeah. But yeah, that was the only play, the only time where I was like, oh, what was that? Yeah. Just for a second. I didn't appreciate, and I've said this before, didn't necessarily appreciate the fact you were trying to get me to contact Fred West. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, was that was Neil. That was Neil. Yeah, big time. But yeah, no, that was that was really cool though. But here we are. We have got to the East yeah. Gate. Uh and and I, that was really weird when I heard that through the gate in the edit, which is where we're hearing you know all this stuff. Do you think we should put the audio on and then we can like pause yeah. it? Yeah, okay, about yeah, let's go. So if you can pull yeah. us back, Lars, pull us back to the start of this uh, video, and we'll go you know, to the start of the SS method. Get the volume on, <laughs> and let's let's watch That's this okay. through. Also, Bold. sorry, Cali Fitness, thank you so much for the two pounds. I'll answer your question in just a moment. Yeah, so... Are you okay? 
you happy that we're just back? pause it there so the reason i don't think as i literally just said on on screen in text that it sounds like through the gate and the fact that i could hear that on the edit but i didn't even react as if i even heard anything on the estes method just makes yeah. me think it wasn't through the headphones that would have to be so loud to be picked up yeah. by the camera. Because if you think how loud those headphones are and you can't hear anything on the camera, that would have like almost deafened you. Yeah. So you would have definitely reacted. In and some on top way. Of that, none of us heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Because we would have just made a comment. Like, and you oh, were hearing out. so many like rustles and shit through the gate. Mm. <laughs> but yeah. Also, I found out, and this is so fucking dumb. Like, I've been editing for 10 years. If you just quickly go back to the text, I found out how to turn, um, <laughs> to change the colors of words. And I thought it just looked really cool when I changed forest to red. <laughs> Where is it? Through the gate. Here we go, ready. Therefore, I believe it was in the forest. Red. <laughs> Bang it. Red. Right, here we go. Just unmute it. We miserable oh <laughs> that was rude. is that you affecting the emf the nasty Do you again think look at the nasty? emf going crazy or is the yeah. kernel nasty i wouldn't were you here the day of the rendlesham incident horrid are you the was spirit the day that horrid no terrorize the yeah, that's what i think on the gate or are you the colonel who was seen? Jimmy? James. 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 James Penny. I think James Penny. Is with us. How now, many of you is there? Just pause there. Now, obviously, um, James Penniston is, is still alive. However, Jimmy, James, quite a common name, and there were a lot of airmen on this base, you mm -hmm. know? So, uh, yeah, continue. Um, I just want to reiterate five. I like there's five of us, isn't there? There's also obviously potentially five. Just pause there. I just want because that was obviously a bit confusing. Where I went, ah. I kept hearing a noise. It was like, jigum 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 jigum, like every now and then, and I. <laughs> I didn't know whether to articulate it or not, and obviously I bottled articulating it. Um, if you'd have just gone, yeah. I would not have been able to control myself. It's like it's Bumblebee transforming. What the fuck? But yeah, <laughs> I never assumed the witch has got you at that point. Yeah, gone. but that's that's what that was. Um, that was me bottling, articulating a noise, I believe. <laughs> Also, Is there five I, of you here? I adore that we do the Estes methods in red. Or men. Getting in interference. How weird. I think, I think that was Jordan speaking. I'm yeah, nervous. That was right, my. There's no that need is one to be thing nervous. we need to start we're working on, I think. To, What's that? Uh, anything bad. It's yeah. being slightly clearer with whether we're hearing the words or if it's something we're feeling or something we're, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we should have a sign, like mm -hmm. yeah. if it's if it's something spoken. Yeah, exactly. If it's something spoken, we'll just say it. If it's like I'm getting interference, just put your hand up so you know. Yeah, yeah. What it is? If it's you actually talking, not what you yeah. hear. Yeah, something else that so if I you're think describing something, something that I do mm -hmm. a lot, um, which I think shouldn't be done, is so say if I hear like her, and then two seconds later I hear her again. I will say her again. Just say her. You guys can put the pieces together that you've heard her twice. Because then it mm -hmm. gets confusing. Like, did I hear yeah. her or did I her hear again. her again? Yeah. yeah. So I think if you ever yeah, don't put the pieces together for it for the other people, literally just say what you hear. Let them do the work. Yeah. And then no, yeah, I, I like the idea of hand up. Like when you then said I've got interference, you could say I've got interference. Yeah. And we know mm -hmm. that's you saying that because your hand is yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. And like Bailey, sounds like Scott. That means it sounds like Scott. It's not 
he just said Scott or the Estes yeah. method just said Scott. So basically, if it's not the spoken word, anything yeah. around that, you have your hand up. Yeah. 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 Cool. Have to. Radio? That's cool. Someone, That's so someone weird. on the gate who was nervous. Oh, we'll have to radio, airman. as in, like, he'll have to call it in. Yeah. It's well. not the same. And pause there. Because. Now they saw so many, and obviously, you, I guess the SS method is a lot of, you know, putting it together, but they would have been on that post and they would have seen plane after plane yeah. after plane flying over. Then they see a UFO light. It's not the same. It's not the same. It I've doesn't look just the put same. That together as well. Yeah. That's mental. It's not yeah. the same. Also, I just want to say, as much as I would love to to claim this is a paranormal, but you know me, it's all fully transparent. This uh, black mass in the left corner is actually the microphone muff. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's in like nice. quite a few shots, but it's not. It's not. Um, it's not a. It's I, at least I like. I hope it's the, the micro. I think I hope it's the microphone fluff <laughs> thing. But yeah, that's what I believe that is. Yeah. All right, cool. let's continue. This is mental. Again, I should have put. So I should have put my hand up. Believe. This is mental. Yeah, there you go. I put. This is me thinking out loud. Ugh. Hold on. Okay. Lost. Veto. Lost. We've gone down to five, four, four F P. Whatever. Sound like veto. <coughs> excuse me. Veto I'll evil. Back. I'll go back slightly. So now I put this together differently to you guys mm. but we'll go through everything in a moment mm. i will have to radio someone was that someone on the gate who was nervous the young airman it's not the same because this is mental believe Ugh. Look at the fucking oh, EMF. No. I actually cut those two. Veto. Sound like veto. <coughs> excuse me, veto evil. And then I hear that. It said planet. Pause. You can say veto today. So, Ronnie said Zito. Um, the only thing that I could find close to it is Zeta Reticuli, which is the planet system. But what I, in my. It, when. I was stood there hearing these things and I hear veto evil planet. The way I put it together was an alien or alien species, whatever, um, saying we are an evil planet and veto means to pass or to skip. So what I, I, I sort of took it as alien saying basically, fuck Earth, let's not go back yeah. there. Veto evil That's planet. That's how I yeah. saw it. That's what um, I initially thought in the moment. Yeah. But, obviously, but then Ronnie made also, a very compelling argument. Yeah, with the... for Zeta Reticuli. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's all down to Zeta interpretation. Zeta and Vito can definitely sound similar. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. And I think the Zeta lines up. Bosh, there you go. Oh, so Zeta Reticuli is amongst... Are you referring yeah. to Zeta the planet? Yeah, absolutely, Mario. To be chosen, to be chosen, to be abducted, were you, what were you yeah. or to be chosen as an alien to come here. Were you abducted. Yeah. You know my name. Is your name Jimmy? What happened to you here? Sound like said I'm dead again. What? And that was I'm dead that again. Sounds like that might have been someone who was stationed on the gate, terrified to be here on the run, which they all were, mm. and that he was chosen to come down there. Yeah. All that, all were that. You when you chosen were to come to, you know, chosen to be on the gate. Absolutely. Yeah. Hit that like button, guys. Can we know it makes sense? Eight hundred. I tried to go. I googled like eight hundred people lost airbase eight hundred, but I just couldn't really yeah. find anything. Eight hundred. <laughs> that's 
I always find that yeah. creepy no, when I no. hear a laugh. No. Dreadful. Eight Honestly, was that it's savage, that uh, bit. Battalion. Yeah. Was just making a suggestion. Oh, oh, Sorry that it was wrong. Was what, what does 800 mean? Nature. Everyone dies. Yeah, and look at the fucking EMF at the same time. Everyone dies. Or do you know the yeah. future? Oh, Are you threatening us? No. No. Oh. Are you from this planet? No. The speed of the replies. <laughs> yeah. That is it's never said enough. Top secret. Before. Top secret. Oh fucking horrible. God. You mentioned no. earlier Zico. Is that where you're from? Shh. Is this a shush? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me? 800 light years, maybe, Bob Bobby. Something that you shouldn't. Oh. No, no. It was good. here. It was here. What Shouldn't tell you here? that. Was it a spacecraft? Don't get us. The morning after. Did they take it? What happened the morning after? I don't know. Were you told not to say anything? You sound. Crazy. <clears throat> they would have been told. That's what they told you. Yep. Did you tell them what you saw? And that's the, the reply you got. Did they silence you? We were on red battery, by the way. We've literally just gone flown down to red. We will. We will silence you. Yeah, maybe. 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 By draining the battery so we can't put it out. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm, just, I'm gonna put him out just because. I can keep going and pause that and we can just go from there. It's special. It is, and that's why I wanna keep going. Uh, pause and start again. It's just, just so weird. Seriously. It's so weird that I'm just not part of this train. conversation and yet I am. Mm -hmm. weird. We heard a train earlier. Like, you can oh, hear fuck all outside of those hair f headphones. I just want to hear someone humming the other side of the fence. Nice. That's awful. Yeah, I didn't feel great about it. You are here. Speak. Hello. It's time to talk. Nice. Give us a message. Oh. We haven't got long left. Wait for it. Shush. No, give us a message. <laughs> Tell us something. Hurry. Yeah, we ran out of time. What do you want us to tell people? Give us a message to pass on to the world. It's overtaken. Pause, pause, pause. That is my favourite moment in an Estes method ever. Give us something. Oh, give give us a message to tell the world it's overtaken. The aliens are here. They're in positions of power. It's overtaken. That's it. It's game that over. Is mental. It's game over. It's not what I had in mind when I asked the question. It's so like, weird. That was, yeah. So weird. Honestly, even watching this back for like the ninth time, I just you just fall into it. Like I couldn't yeah. even make any comments for the last like couple of minutes because yeah. it's just watching it is so fascinating. It lit it's literally having a conversation with something, and there's yeah. no doubt in my mind that there is a, a clear conversation back and mm -hmm. forth between us and something else right now. Whatever that may be, something from the future, an alien, a, a, a ghost anything we are having a conversation with something here and it's telling us about our future fucking crazy so far maybe cool. 800 could be like something like uh, because what was the thing after it said 800 like it's something about it being a threat you're all you're all everyone dies yeah maybe that's 800 days maybe that's 800 years jesus we've got less than three years left let's let's stick to the years option there please everyone dies 800 minutes oh fuck you now <laughs> 800 hours oh. 
There's a be. ridiculous conspiracy theory that, um, as in, like, ridiculously compelling that the world is going to end on the 29th, uh, 23rd of September, so... What, this year? Yeah. Jesus, that's it. 23rd of September 2023, um, somebody has compiled every time that the, that date is mentioned in a movie and how bad connotations that date has in every movie. Um, and, yeah, apparently that's where it's all leading. Why twenty? What in twenty twenty three? Not a clue. I'll um I'll send you the uh, the video that I watched on it, and then have a look into it. But it just like the the clip that I watched was like a ten minute video of just like five second snippets from movies where they'd mentioned the twenty third of September twenty twenty three. Oh right. Fucking in hell. like almost every movie, maybe it's just a nice rounded date or something. But it's never Illuminati. know. Illuminati. Never know. Yeah, it's not. That's it. We're going to perish. Oh, Rachel Ray says, oh, 23rd is my dad's birthday. <laughs> it's going to be explosive. Oh, his birthday's going to be pretty shit, to be honest. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I'll have to have a look into that. Uh, right, let's finish off this video. Leave me. <laughs> Said don't come back. Oh, we're coming back, you little bitch. Can you give part us three. one final message before we go. Well, we'll put them out. Five, four. Well done, you. Three. How fucking like. Are we safe? Still condescending. Wow. Yeah. No. That's such a dig at Bailey. Yeah. There. <laughs> I think he was pissed off that, or whoever we were communicating with well, was pissed off that we were kind of communication. What? Yeah. Well you done, did get that you. Vibe. Well done, you. I did squeeze in a little are we safe at the end there as well. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And then I established some ground rules. Doesn't something happen? Is it hit this one or is it the start of the East Gate? No, I think it was at the start East Gate. Mm -hmm. um, Estes, when the headphones are off and you hear a woman. Anyway, continue. Excellent. Yeah, Considering I could barely hear anything earlier, that is insane. Yeah. Jordan, that was the most unbelievable Estes method we have ever had. Really? That was insane, oh my god. Mate. That was but fucking I wild. I think based on what it said, we need, we need to, to go. go. I think we need to leave. We've had growling behind the fence, humming <laughs> behind the fence, everything. We need to go. And the bad yeah, oh yeah, I, I, I can see, I, down. I can see the bad boy. Talking about leave or don't come back. I it's think like... there's multiple things oh, yeah. that we've been talking to. Mm. It said there were five people here. Okay, obviously I have. I don't. I was in the Estes, so I don't know the back and forth that you guys just experienced. Obviously, I'll be editing it to to see what happens. But the guys seem pretty spooked. Crazy. We're gonna leave it there. That was like night and day from the from the East Gate. This uh, when we first. Okay, so we just switched over to my phone. So I apologise um, because the camera just died. But the crazy thing is, like, it's look at that beautiful just, focus. Fifteen twenty. That's insane. That's crazy okay. because there's no way. Like the camera wasn't even on half battery; it was on over half. That's just drained way too quick. No, I didn't it's get dead. Any... It's dead. Yeah, so we're dead, now, dead, we're dead, now yeah. on the we're now on the camera. Phone. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. I hope that you enjoyed this. We'll be going somewhere very very soon. If you'd like to see a Rendlesham Part Three, please do let us know. Um, but yeah, we'll be back very soon with another investigation. Okay. Follow the team. Like, share, subscribe. This place is fucked. Absolutely F. But, oh, thank you to Bailey. Thank you to Ronnie. Thank you to Maya. Thank you to Scott. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome. You're welcome. And, uh. <laughs> really? Nice. <laughs> Just watch it back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you very soon. Quick one. Yeah. Nice. There we go. We'll just say that that is a very good, um, that where you switch to the phone is a very good example of the difference between a directional mic and a mic that picks up sound from everywhere. Yeah. You could clearly hear the conversation behind you and Bailey yeah. um, very well. Yeah. When people say about, oh, why can't you hear certain things when the camera's like here and then you turn to face it and it's obviously not happening anymore, that's why, because yeah. the mics are very different. Mm. But the sound. if you catch something in that direction... It'll be so much crisper, wouldn't it? Yeah. Which is why, obviously, yeah. why we do it. And right, let's bring us back to the center of the screen, Loz. Oh, I just, nice. just want to say, yeah. 800 hours takes us to 14th September. Just 
so you know. Oh. So my well, die on the fourteen. I I also just counted that. Nice. Did you? Nice. <laughs> thirty three thirty three point three days is yeah. eight hundred hours, and thirty three point three days from when we did the investigation takes us to the fourteenth of September. Possibly okay. the fifteenth, depending on hours. But one of those two. Nice. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, OE says quality camera uh, on that. What phone have you got, Duty? I've got the Google Pixel 7. Um, let me just quickly go back to Cali Fitness, who uh, super chatted two pounds. Any activity at Myers' parents since the investigation? That was actually something I was going to bring up earlier, but it just the kind of topic just got away. I was round on Friday night talking about this with my mum, um, and she said that they have had absolutely nothing since since we went out which is mental like obviously we've had so much activity throughout our lives and then i moved out like four years ago lewis moved out a few months ago it got crazy after lewis moved out and that's when we did the investigation a couple of months after he moved out and it seems like absolutely nothing has happened because she was home alone on the friday when i was around there and i was like do you feel scared that you know you're in the house by yourself and she said that she felt fine because they've had no issues. But what they have done is recently is completely renovated the, the bedroom where the, the biggest activity was all the time. Yeah. Obviously, it was halfway under construction at the time um, when we were doing the investigation. But maybe that's changed something. I don't know. But it definitely maybe, feels a lot. Maybe the cleanse worked. Yeah. yeah. I personally think what happened was there was a little girl spirit there that didn't know she was dead. And yeah. I think that we helped them pass over through mm. that night, nice. is what I think. A job well done. Yeah. A cleanse well done. Excellent. I think so. Excellent. Um, if anyone needs an exorcism of their house, give us a call. That's it. Definitely. Excuse me. Ooh. Oh, sorry to butt in. Oh, he's just made a point that 800 hours is... 33.3 days which is 333 half of the number of the devil that's it that's a bit, a bit spooky a bit spooky how's buttons doing at the paranormal research center we don't know we don't know we'll have to drop an email put her out. drop an email have a little ask she's on the I've side seen her. she's the there yeah. she's on the side in there um but yeah right okay guys you have one minute to go over to the video and to um, comment the creepiest part. Um, and I'm going to pick a winner of the uh, the the drip card. My personal drip card that I will sign the back of. And also, I guys. Scott, I love how Scott made them and then literally the first one you get, you're giving away. <laughs> we don't have any Polaroids. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't think they would have been any good anyway. Oof. It's too dark. It was, very, it was very dark. It was very dark. They're expensive, all right. But guys, just a reminder: this is brought to you by Wraith. They're an energy supplement company, energy powder company, and they got so many flavors. And to be honest, I haven't tried a flavor that I haven't liked yet. So mm -hmm. I've got a tub of Pear Drop. And, uh, yeah, they've got some cool shakers. They've got some cool flavours. And they really are good for energy. And, What's your uh, favourite flavour, Jordan? I'd say Pear Drop. I'd definitely really? say Pear Drop. Yeah, yeah. That's why I chose the, drop. The, the, the tub. Um, I personally liked Gamer Girl Bathwater. Yeah. Nice. There is one, I yeah. thought that was really nice. It's, yeah, it's certainly nicer than the title. Yeah. But there is one called Gamer. Colt Cola is my personal favourite. Nice. What is it? Nice. Colt Cola. Nice. I don't Excellent. think I tried that one. But yeah. Get yourself some Wraith. Lozzy, I've got a starter pack coming for you because this is a Team Drip uh, partnership. Sick. So you will team have Drip sponsor. You'll have your own shaker and sachets very soon. Um, Let's go. Right. Yeah, click the link. Have a little look. Have a little browse. If you want to buy some stuff, excellent. If you don't, have a little browse. It won't right. hurt. It won't hurt to browse. <laughs> right. Where are we at? What are they going to do, Jordan? Browse. 
you got about 10 seconds left to comment. Also, by the way, thank you so much to everyone for the support on these videos. I know that there, it's it's definitely um, ratioed more to one than the other, but there is over 100,000 views on the Rendlesham experience, which is amazing. So that is awesome. Okay. You got 10 more seconds. I don't know if people do this on purpose, but if you're going to comment and say you should have X piece of equipment with you. Please watch the whole video. I had, I had someone comment the other day. It was very nice. So he, he was very nice, but he said you should have a FLIR thermal camera, which we literally use <laughs> in the video. But someone else has, has commented, would have been a good idea to have taken a voice recorder with you. Ah, yes. We did, Just watch the video. We did a voice recorder section, but it's okay. It's okay. Like I, I don't mind. Like you have, make suggestions for equipment. Definitely, you know, if there's a piece yeah. of equipment you think would be awesome that we should get, we'll get it. But don't tell me to get something that is literally in the video. It's in the video. Right. That's it. Here we go. I'm gonna do a little random scroll, and then I'm gonna land on a comment. I'll give this video an up and down. I'm not. I'm looking at a different screen, by the way. And then, if this question, if this comment I land on has the the what is required, it does. It does. Um. Oh, look at this virus underscore v seventy three place. The whole video was creepy. I loved it. In particular, though, the meaning of the angel number eight hundred. That was said through the spirit box can represent new beginnings, abundance, success, completion, and humanitarianism. There you go. Who would you look at that? The only winner is in there. Congrats! You have won the drip card. Email me your delivery details. Doody Rhino at gmail.com. Hope you're all clapping at home. That's it. And there we go. The winner has been chosen. Just needs to forge your card details and your security number as well. <laughs> that is it. That is it. But there we go. So that is the winner of the card. He has a week to Thanks. redeem it. If he doesn't email me, I'll do it again. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you for joining me this evening, Lozzie, Scott, Maya. Thank you You're to everyone welcome. in the chat and that has watched. I appreciate it. If you could hit that like button before you vacate, that would be amazing. Share the stream as well. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Check out Rafe Energy with the official partner of Rafe Energy. Use code DUDY. For twenty percent off, you can also become a patron if you want. Right, guys, we're out of here. We'll be back with another investigation in a few weeks' time. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all very soon.